Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. This is Dylan Jones and today I'm going to be showing you how to copy a job file and maybe some other exported files from your TSC5 to a flash drive. So to begin, you're going to open up your job and you're going to see your points on your map screen. And then from here we're going to press the menu button up in the top left hand corner. Then you're going to tap on the name of your job, which is in the left hand column, second item down from the top. Now, I want to export a CSV file of this job, so I'm going to tap Export at the bottom. Make sure I select Comma Delimited. If you want to select a different file format, feel free to do that. Make sure that your fields, your field numbers look correct, and then you're going to press Accept in the lower right-hand corner. I'm going to press Accept and then select the points I want to export. Now that my point file has been exported, I'll tap OK. And now I want to copy that file over to my flash drive. So at this moment, I'm going to plug in my flash drive. And then I'm going to press the copy button at the bottom. Now in order to copy your job to the flash drive as the destination folder, you're going to tap on the file folder icon next to the destination folder location. You should see a USB drive has been detected and whether or not you want to allow Trimble access to use it. We'll tap yes and then you might need to tap on the menu button in the top left hand corner to navigate to the USB drive. Once you've navigated to the USB drive, make sure that you tap use this folder and press allow. Now the D drive or USB drive should be showing as a folder to select and then you can press the accept button. My job will now be copied to the D drive in addition to any additional files that I select here from the checkboxes. So for me, since I exported a CSV file, I want to make sure my copy exported files um, checkbox is checked. My job, road files, and exported files will be exported, or excuse me, copied to my flash drive. I'll press copy. Now the files are copying and it looks like the uh, transfer is complete. I'll press OK and then I can eject the USB drive at this time. Once you've done that you can press the back button up in the top left hand corner and that concludes this tech talk.